Hey everyone, Steven here with TV Fork, and today I'm going to be taking Michael through a myofascial stretching exercise for the pectoralis major, and specifically, we are going to be targeting the superficial fibers of the pectoralis major. In order to do that, we are going to be in a prone position, meaning you're laying down on your stomach. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up the shoulder. Whatever arm is out to the side, that's going to be the pec major that we're stretching. But for this one, I'm going to have Michael take his arm out to the side, and we want the shoulder at the level of the glenohumeral angle. If you don't know where that is, you want to place one hand on the scapula, one hand at the humerus, and you're going to elevate the arm and see when the scapula and humerus move together. As soon as they move, then that is your glenohumeral angle. If you are doing this by yourself and you don't have a partner to figure out your glenohumeral angle, when your arm is fully extended and your palm is at the level of your forehead or slightly higher, that's going to be the glenohumeral angle for most people. But now that Michael is set up, the next thing we want to do is go into maximum extension of the elbow and wrist, maximum external rotation of the shoulder. Then Michael is going to pin his shoulder down toward the ground. From here, he's going to go into contralateral rotation of the cervical spine. He's going to do that by taking the ear of the same side that he's stretching and pinning it down to the ground. Then with the contralateral arm or the non-working arm, he's going to place his arm underneath his armpit like he's getting ready to do a push-up. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and set up the lower body. Because we are targeting the superficial fibers, the superficial fibers of the pectoralis major have a direct attachment to the rectus abdominis. So we want to create myofascial tension on the rectus abdominis by spreading the legs apart. So we're going to go into abduction of the femurs and then flexing the knees. The reason we're flexing the knees is so that we can create an anti-version at the pelvis. Then from here, we're going to go into dorsiflexion and eversion of the ankles. And then in terms of the principle of action, Michael is going to press with his left palm and roll onto his right shoulder. He wants to maintain his shoulder pinned down to the ground the entire time. And then in terms of the sets and repetitions, what you would want to do is three sets of 30 seconds on each side. And this is pretty much the myofascial stretching exercise for the superficial fibers of the pectoralis major.